Coach Rovat, U.S. Open's coming up, man. What a better way, place to spend your uh, Easter weekend than Las Vegas. Yeah, I couldn't think of a better place to spend Easter weekend than Las Vegas. But uh, now the U.S. Open's, you know, going to be there, and you know, for the first time, it's a two-day tournament. Uh, so you know, the atmosphere and you know the flow of the event should be better than you know the previous years, and we're real excited for it. Let's talk Cliff Keen, Cliff Keen Wrestling Club. You know, you guys have uh, a couple guys at one weight. And uh, you're sprinkled throughout the lineup right now. It's only going to, you know, grow. It's continued to grow. But um, let's talk about the guys who are going out there for you guys. Uh, first off, 57 kilos. Who are you guys sending out? Uh, we're sending out Brandon Preeson. So uh, Brandon Preeson uh, moved here from Stanford uh, right around Christmas time. Uh, you know, he, he, he wanted a, a full-time freestyle training environment, you know, with a full-time coach. So he, he, he contacted us and, you know, he said he wanted to make the move and, um, you know, so so we were able to get Brandon back here. Uh, you know, we moved him in with uh, Kyle Massey, so it kind of worked out perfect. Jimmy Kennedy just got engaged, and uh, his fiance moved up here, and so uh, you know, so we had the housing for him. And uh, you know, Brandon is uh, you know he knows Jake, and you know he's known Sean for a long time. So his training, um, you know, under our system is is really you know started to flourish. And uh, you know, Brandon, I'm really excited for him. You know, because I've been able to see. You know, even just in the short time, you know, the, the improvements that, he, that he's made, you know, just by having somebody, you know, there pushing him every day and, and guiding him doing the right things. And, uh, you know, you know, one of the things I'm, you know, proud to say is that, you know, I taught him how to do a backflip. And, you know, one of the things he was lacking is, is, was just his overall athletic ability. And, uh, you know, his wrestling skills are very good. But, you know, sometimes you watch him and, you know, you look at him competing against people like Angel Escobedo and, you know, Angel is much more athletic and, you know, when it comes down to the end or, you know, those big key situations where they're scoring, you know, Angel's getting them, you know, just because he's a little faster, you know, his you know, feet move a little better. And, uh, you know, so one of the things we've been working on with Brandon is just becoming more of an athlete, you know, because his wrestling's there and he's not get getting worse, you know, so the better he could be become athletically, the more that's going to help his improvement in his wrestling. 61 kilos, a non-Olympic weight, but it's going to be in the world championships, you know, 2014, 2015, and then it won't be in 2016, but you got two guys right there right now, and I think one of the best guys in the world, Jimmy Kennedy, two, first off, two Illinois guys training here in Ann Arbor. What is that like in the room having him and BJ Futrell? And, and I think either guy can win 61 kilos. How did those guys do this year, and what, how do you feel about them moving forward into the Open? Uh, so BJ, same with same as Brandon, we got we were able to get BJ here in right around February. Um, so he was a month behind Brandon. Um, you know, he had just graduated with his masters um, from Illinois in December, and uh, you know he he wanted to look you know again for a full freestyle coach. So he he he, he emailed us um, you know looking for a place to come. And uh, I guess I'm starting to get a reputation of, uh, you know, just being able to, you know, help the guys and, and stuff. And, uh, you know, just because it's my full-time job, you know, where most RTCs, they have, you know, they don't have full, full, full-time full coaches. Uh, Even if you talk about, like, like Lou Rizzelli, Yeah. he's the RTC, Ohio RTC coach, but he's full-time assistant coach at Ohio yeah. State. Where it's like, that's not your... You are strictly freestyle wrestling. Yeah, and, and you know, I, well, I mean, I work for myself, but yeah, I'm strictly freestyle wrestling, and that's all I want to coach. And but yeah, so so we got BJ here, and BJ opposite, obviously opposite of Brandon is BJ is, is super super athlete, um, and you know some of the things that he's been he's able to do with his training, um, you know, so he has 90 percent of the training down, but for him it's just going to be learning the wrestling positions and. Uh, putting himself in there repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly. And, and, and that's the same thing I did with Jimmy and Kellen. And both Jimmy and Kellen are great, great athletes as well. And, you know, their learning curve, you know, in the system just went, you know, through the roof. So, you know, BJ being able to watch Jimmy and watch Kellen and, and, and to see how professional they are and, and how they approach their training camps and how they approach, you know, just living, you know, all aspects of their life while they're, while they're doing this, you know, that's going to help him, that's going to help Brandon, and, uh, you know, being able to, we just finished our training camp Friday with tournament simulation, and, you know, and it, you could tell the difference between the two guys that are new and then obviously the, the couple guys that have been in the system, and, uh, 
you could just see the way they approach the training. And, and once we get the whole team clicking, um, you know, we're, we're going to, uh, to me, I think we're going to have the best RTC in the country. And, you know, BJ, I mean, he's already right there. You know, he pinned, you know, at NCAAs, he pinned the returning world bronze medalist. And, you know, he beat Coleman Scott at the Schultz. He took third at uh, Belarus. So he's ready. He's right there. And, uh, you know, they're going to be one, two seat at the Open. So hopefully we'll get uh, all Cliff Keen Wrestling Club finals. Jimmy won a car this year at a tournament. <laughs> Tell me about that. And the progression of Jimmy Kennedy has been amazing at 61 kilos. But, you know, Jimmy's won a car, and he's right there to, to represent the United States, I think. But, you know, the progression of Jimmy Kennedy has been, I think, meteoric, his rise. It's been unbelievable. You know, he's a couple-time All-American in Illinois. Comes here, and he's having this huge success. Won a car. Uh, whatever happened with the car, by the way? <laughs> he got rid of it. He got rid of it? Yeah. And, well, so so Jimmy, like I said, Jimmy was, was a great athlete, and... Uh, you know, when, when he came here, I mean, you have certain training, and, and um, to me, it's it's all about the tra it's all about the training. And you know, you could have you could have the greatest athlete in the world, but if he's not in the right training environment, you know, they're not going to flourish. And you know, and, and and to me, that 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 was the one thing I picked up. Like I said, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. When I went to Russia, I learned how to train people. It, you know, and, and I could get people to get the most out of themselves because, I mean, just the way they train is, to me, it's a thing of beauty when you watch it go from start to finish. And, and so what we are able to do with Jimmy was, you know, keep him healthy, you know, by, by you know, our, I mean, just by the way we structure the practices. It, I mean, it fits his mold perfectly because watching him and Kellen in, in some of these positions that, that we put him in, and, and, you know, they're in there so much that, now, you know, maybe a year and a half ago, they were, they were looking to bail out a, or, the, you know, they were looking to just try to hold on and defend. Now they're turning those defenses into offense because they've been in those positions so much and they know everything, every possible move that the opponent can do from there. And, you know, they're just so comfortable in the wrestling positions and, you know, he, he just forces his will on people. I mean, he's, I've been telling people he's, he's gonna be a world champ, you know, for a long time, you know, and even, even with Jimmy, you know, I had the conversation with him, and I, and I know this is where, why he believes me. You know, at, at the Olympic trials, he had a terrible Olympic trials. And I looked at him when he lost his second match, and I was like, you didn't do anything. You know, I, I straight up told him, I said, you did not wrestle. I said, we sit, we train, and we do all this stuff so that you know what you're doing. I said, you, I prepared you. And for him, you know, it was getting over that mental, mental that, you know, he had to perform for other people. You know, instead of just going out there and being like, hey, I'm ready, I could just go wrestle and have fun. You know, now he, he was able to kind of change that. And, his, you know, it, it was just a reinforcement over and over and over again that he was the best in the world because I, I truly believed he was, you know, and I saw it in him. And uh, I, I know he's going to do it. You know, I, I still think this year he's, he's going to win the world title. And, you know, his plan will be at moving up a weight class, you know, the following year, which... Two know, years. No, he'll, he'll move 2015. up. 2015? Yeah, he'll move up 2015 to, to start getting bigger. And, you know, because I, I still think he moves up. He's still one of the best in the world at 65. Um, you know, it's, it's not about weight. It's about talent. And he's definitely got a lot of, lot of natural talent, you know. So him and Kellen are, you know, and then the BJ, the third year, will move up for the Olympic year. Um, so you're going to have three 65-kilo guys eventually. Yeah. Looking at, you know, Kellen. Kellen's defending U.S. Open champ. Everybody wants to see... Callan match up again with with Metcalf. Now they got Steber up at the weight. First off, 65 kilos. The more you're talking, when we're framing yeah. this, in, it is going to be unbelievable in 2016 to get on the team. But Callan, what's he got to do to win the Open again this year and, and get on that team? Uh, Callan, Callan is is uh, very interesting. You know, like for him, he wrestles on momentum. You know, so last year at the U.S. Open, Sean and I had the discussion. Do we fight to get him the eighth seed? You know, because he could have, you know, realistically gotten an eighth, eighth seed last year at the Open. But, you know, with the year he had last year, it wasn't that successful throughout the year. And, you know, he was still picking up the freestyle. Um, I wanted him to go to the mini tournament because I knew once he started scoring points that Callan can't be beat. <laughs> you know, it, his hardest thing is for him is getting up and, and wrestling that first match. Because once he starts scoring points, it's game over, because every match. Because, you know, he just gets in that role, he gets in that, you know, groove. And, 
And so, uh, so last year he was able to do that and go through the mini tournament and then continue that scoring all the way through the, you know, obviously as the rounds go by, you know, you start getting tighter and tighter, but that's when he really shines because, I mean, his defense is unbelievable. And so, uh, you know, so I think it's going to be the same thing. And, you know, with the U.S. Open being two days, I think, you know, it's a big, big advantage for him where, uh, you know, he's going to be able to roll through those first couple rounds and, you know, get that momentum. And, and by the time the semifinals and, and finals come, you know, it's, it's really hard to beat Kellen Russell. He's won at every level, you know, and, and for him, he has a mindset. You know, I know, I know and I've, I haven't talked to him a lot about it, but I know he works a lot with a, um, a mental coach and um, sports psychologist. Yeah, sports psychologist, and he, and he does a lot of visualization. And, and uh, when it comes time to shine, he's, he's his man. You know, you never, you never can count Kellen Russell out. And, uh, um, you know, watching him again in, during training camp, you know, I don't. I think he's one of the best in the world right now, and uh, you know he's he's about to prove it. And and I thought you know he's a year younger than Jimmy, and you know I, he's not a full year behind him in his you know rise, but he's you know maybe six months behind him. So what Jimmy had been doing in the fall, Kellen I think is about to start doing now. You know, so he was right there. So everything I, I could see Jimmy doing, I, I see Kellen just a little bit behind him. You know, so hopefully that he's just a little bit enough behind him that they both can make the team this year and, uh, you know, get to the Worlds. And Kyle Massey, he's your last RTC member yes. here for the for Cliff Keen Wrestling Club. Um, I think heavyweight, it, it can, a lot, anything can happen at heavyweight the way I look at it. You know, Terrell has been the guy, you know, since the, geez, 2009, he's lost a year to Sigmund. But now, can Kyle get on that team? What's Kyle got to do to be a guy to... Place whether he can win the U.S. Open or have success in the mini tournament, you know, in the, the trials a month later. Yeah, um, you know, for Kyle, Kyle's Kyle's good, you know, and, and, and I love working with Kyle. Um, he gets really really focused during his training camps, and uh, you know, he ended he ended uh, our training camp Saturday Friday with the simulation on a great note. He, you know, he wrestled really really well, um, and he knows what he's good at. And I, when, he, when he really gets dialed in in the training camp, you know, he just keeps going to his underhook. He keeps going, you know, to the positions where he's going to win. And, you know, last year he had a good U.S. Open. Um, you know, for him it's going to be hard to beat someone like Turvel because he hasn't had the international experience. And, um, you know, he just hasn't, he hasn't been at that level yet. Um, but, but he's getting there. And, uh, you know, I, I think at the U.S. Open he's going to, you know, be able to, you know, prove that. I mean, he works out with Adam Kuhn every day. You know, Adam, you know, he, he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Adam, and Adam's beating all these guys. Adam's beating, you know, Chris Kowski, and he's beating... Uh, Tony Nelson. Nelson, and, yeah, you know, and, and you know, and Massey, Massey's right there. But uh, but for him, he just has to make sure he sticks to his game plan. Um, you know, just because he doesn't have as many matches in, and, you know, and he hasn't gotten the minutes that, you know, Jimmy has or Kellen has because they're flying all over the world with the national team, and... Uh, go to all these tournaments, so you know he's not as game ready. But if he just, I mean, you could, you know, you could get there, you know, just by, you know. But you have to be really mentally, you know, composed and know that hey, you know, no matter what, you're sticking to your game plan, you know, because if you you've been out of that game plan before, you know, with all the other matches, you know, Jimmy and Kellen have had, you know, you you know how to you know dig yourself out of a hole or you know how to protect your lead. Okay, next, last thing, two-day tournament. Looking at the two-day tournament, when I talk about that, is that two weigh-ins? Uh, they have, actually, I have no idea. They I haven't told you if it's a two-way-in? Two, no, I think it's one way. -in. That's huge. you got to know that. Because no international tournaments are two weigh-ins. Right. Everything's one weigh-in, so why would they I think it's one way in So we're going to have guys, potentially, if it's one weigh-in, we're going to have guys who are 20, 30 pounds bigger than the weight class. 20, yeah, 20 for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Do you look at that? The two-day tournament, you keep talking about it being a two-day tournament. What are the advantages and disadvantages for you guys? For us? I mean, I don't think I don't think it's that big of a dis. I mean, I think mostly it's an advantage for us. We got some pretty big guys here on our team. Um, you know, just how the weights fell out, fall out. Um, you know, Preston's pretty big for 57. Um, you know, I think it's an advantage for him. Uh, you know, Jimmy and... BJ are both big, 61 kilos. Kellen's not that big, but um, I don't think anyone in that weight class is super big, especially now that with the 70 kilos, most people are going up. 
and then uh, you know most of the lower tier 65s have been bumping up you know and then like in the Massey I mean he's not gigantic heavy, well no heavyweights really cut much and they added 10 pounds to it yeah I mean we have we have fortune here training you know for the last uh, week and a half uh, will he be a future member of Cliff Keen? Uh, we're trying. He's looking. He's looking for a place to go. But you know, we're trying to always expand and you know give give uh, you know people the opportunity. You know, I see a lot in Tyrell. You know, if he has you know the proper coaching and you know the consistent training. You know, we have two great partners for him here with you know Massey and Kuhn.